Guys, it is time for another installment of Cardboard Haul, aka what is in that box. So let's dig right in and find out. I think it is bottom up, so let's flip it around. And the person wishing me a lot of fun with my order. This is from a friend. I made a similar video a couple of videos ago where I talked about teaching your younglings and friends and family and relatives and whoever you can find on the street Magic the Gathering which will keep the game alive and also strengthen your friendship or destroy friendship if you play stacks. No, just just kidding guys, but in the last video we had a little discussion about teaching people the game of magic at the gathering and this is another order of bulk which I will use to teach friends, family and children magic the gathering. Now let's just get this unpacked and have a little more deeper discussion building on the stuff we talked about earlier. I wanted to share some of my experiences with teaching younglings and people of my age Magic the Gathering. I taught a couple of 12 to 15 year olds this game we built simple decks containing around 40 cards and one color similar to when drafting depending on the age group I think you can obviously include the rules text that the cards have but obviously also another advantage of just learning the game would be playing with only mana costs, power toughness and learning how to attack and block. With this strategy you could teach people as young as four years old if they can read the numbers already. I did that with my little cousin and we both remember those days until today. I also think it's a great way to learn the language, which I already stated in my last video. But I think this way of just using a 40 card deck where they just pick out some cards or you pick out some cards for them and build a monocolored deck is a great way. A yeah, foil is a great way to just generally learn the game. You don't have to go deep into the mechanics and Maybe only use one set to not overuse different mechanics. So maybe you want to sort your bulk a little before you start playing with, sorry for bumping, with people. And we even taught people of my age who thought they would never get the game because it's so complicated is what they said and they realized it is not that complicated, it is very complex, but not complicated in the way of just general rules. The deeper you go into the game, obviously, the more complex it gets, but rather not complicated, which is a different word and has a different meaning. I also tried using Commander as a starting point to teach the game and I realized it is a little too complex for the beginning for the beginners. So for them it felt like they only acted on my behalf, what I told them would be the smartest move, and didn't really feel like they were playing or had the feeling of they would have never guessed that this would be a good strategy or even possible. 
So one of them played a mono blue bounce stick and the other person a mono green just aggro deck. And at some point the person just had to wipe the board from enemy creatures every turn to just even stay alive. And this was a move that they didn't even realize was possible at all or wouldn't even see that. Therefore, I think set cubes or just these bulk boxes of just simple cards and vanilla creatures is a great way to just teach people the game. Just give them the gift them the cards in the end and play a couple of rounds during the upcoming weeks or months and at some point maybe try to show them an easy commander deck which is the format that is prevalent and most preferred in the magic community. I also wouldn't recommend just playing a simple, I don't know, aggro deck, just goblins smacking face. Maybe also not a combo deck, which just combos off with different cards and the person is super irritated what is just what's just happening. So maybe something in between. Maybe even the person likes a certain type of creature or a certain mechanic already or a certain color and then try to build from that. I don't think there is a bad way or a bad commander that you can use for commander, but rather some of the commanders are more favorable than others just because of their level of complexity. So we don't have to go through all of this. I will just go through this off camera, but this should only be bulk and will be put into empty booster boxes like these and stored until they are needed. Let me know in the comments below what way you prefer to teaching magic, how many people you taught the game, who you've taught recently, and just generally your experiences. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.